This is All India Radio, Shalom, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will chair the fifth meeting of the Governing Council of Niti Aayog at Rashtrapati Bhavan this afternoon. This will be the first meeting of the Governing Council after the new government took over. The agenda before the fifth council meeting include rainwater harvesting, drought situation and relief measures, aspirational districts program, transforming and security related issues with specific focus on left-wing extremism. The governing council will review the action taken on the agenda items of the previous meeting and deliberate upon the future developmental priorities. The Governing Council of Niti Ayo comprises the Prime Minister, Chief Ministers of all the states, Lieutenant Governors of Union Territories and other special invitees. The Centre has approved the setting up of E-Foreigner Tribunal, EFT in Assam. The CEO of EFT Mission, Anand Prakash Tiwari, said that the proposed integrated EFT IT system will be implemented across the state for if monitoring and resolution of cases registered with Foreigners Tribunal. The new IT system will not only strengthen the judiciary in the disposal of cases but also help the police in faster detection, prosecution and detention. The main objective of the project is to maintain the statewide biometric and biographic data to capture the illegal migrants, data to computerize data flow for all stakeholders. It will also help in the legalization of eligible beneficiaries for welfare schemes. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwar called on Union Home Minister Amit Shah in New Delhi yesterday and submitted a memorandum on police modernization and other key matters. Modernization of state police force for turning Assam police into a smart police force was a key point of the discussion. The Chief Minister apprised Mr. Shah about the implementation status of schemes like Moitri for modernization of infrastructure of police stations in Assam. Mr. Sonowal also sought the center's assistance in upgrading Assam Police Training College into a world-class police academy. He stressed on strengthening of the Assam Police Cyber Dome, which has been set up for cyber intelligence gathering and cyber investigation. In Arunachal Pradesh, the process of recovering all the bodies of air warriors on board AN-32 is still on. Defence sources inform that three more civil mountaineers were inducted into the rescue mission. Earlier, 15 mountaineers from Army, Air Force and Civil were inducted for the mission. Unpredictable weather conditions and treacherous terrain is affecting the mission adversely. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu has offered his condolences to the bereaved family, members of the 13 air warriors on board the AN-32 aircraft which crashed in the state on the 3rd of this month. A digital planetarium space education centre and innovation hub at Shillong Science Centre Nehu was inaugurated yesterday by Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma. Speaking to the gathering, Mr. Shitsangma said that the centre will be a place where young minds will be ignited. He said that innovation drives the economy and ensures that services and products are delivered efficiently. The Meghalaya Startup Policy 2018, recently approved by the Cabinet, creates a platform and ecosystems for innovations to thrive, Mr. Sangma said. Director National Council of Science Museum Kolkata, A.D. Chaudhary, informed that the centre in Shillong is the 34th that has been created. The National Council of Science Museums will set up one such centre at Tura and also the Science City at Guwahati, which would cater to the entire northeastern region. The fall army worm outbreak in Mizoram affecting maize cultivation in the state has been more or less contained, State Agriculture Minister C. Lalrin Sanga said yesterday. The Mizoram government had provided assistance to the maize cultivators by distributing biopesticides and bioagents free of cost to deal with the outbreak. The fall army worm outbreak was reported in Mizoram since early April. The minister, in a written reply in the assembly, said the state government had constituted a rapid response team to make sure to mitigate the loss of crops caused by the pest. The centre was asked to provide assistance to the farmers under Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana and National Food Security Mission. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from the Shillong station of All India Radio. Have a nice day.